What's up, YouTube fans? Today, we're going to take a look at the Gundam Universe Shenlong Gundam. So this is the next in the wave. This is number 20. We just looked at number 19, the Sazabi. He was a disaster. <laughs> so if you haven't watched that one, you should check that out. But this one is a lot better, a lot better tolerances and overall um, some nice accessories. He does have a little bit of paint on him. You got the little bit of blue up here, metallic green here. For the face, we've got the metallic green up here, red on that corn there, and then metallic green for the eyes, and a little bit of black details there on the face. Green here. A little bit of gray paint there. Here's the back. Pretty nice looking overall. Now this one's really cool because it's got a unique feature, a unique articulation that the others don't have. So why don't we start off with articulation. The head goes up to there, down to there. Pretty good downward movement on this one. Rotate side to side and rotate all the way around. The arms will rotate around on this ball joint and I revealed this a little too early but since we already showed you there's an armature here and that armature is on one, two, three, four, five pins. So you can get this out here and this is basically like a dragon's head. It's really cool. I mean, they don't haven't really have this on any other um, Gundams, this kind of armature. So it's pretty cool because you can pose it and get it in some really cool looking poses. That's nice. Uh, and then to fold it up, you just fold the arm back up and then take this, fold that up, fold this up, and now it's folded away. The regular arm, the other arm, has a rotation at the shoulder. The shoulder... Uh, Pad can move up and down, in and out. Rotation at the bicep. Double joint elbow gives a full bend. They've been doing better on these. The initial ones were very poorly done. They just didn't do a nice cutout. Now they've done a nice cutout and you get the full bend. Thank you for doing that. So glad they did that. The wrist around a ball joint, so you get a rotation, in and out movement. Rotation at the waist, ab crunch. And there's actually an ab crunch down there too, but this one actually works a lot better. Um, it's got quite a bit of movement. It's still limited, but it works a lot better than Sazabi did anyway. So that's nice. Coming down to the hip skirts, same problem here as we had before, although you do get this pretty far up, but if you want it a little bit more, you have to pull it off. See, it's just on a peg. So you want to pull it out on that peg. That'll allow you to get a little further up to there. Back to here, hindered by this rear hip skirt. You can remove the rear hip skirt. It's just, you know, friction fit. That'll allow you to go back a little bit more. Out to the side, rotation at the thigh, uh, looks like a ball joint. You have double jointed knees, again, limited articulation, all due to the fact that they just don't make a cutout here. They just need to make a cutout on the back of the knees. That really improve the articulation a lot on these guys. You have ankle tilt, pivot back and forth. You have this ankle guard that can move up and down out of the way. So some nice movement there. All right, let's take a look at his accessories. First, we've got his jetpack here. You probably wouldn't take this out, you just leave it, but it does come separate in the package. So you just get it plugged in like that. And these actually have articulation on them, which is cool. They haven't had that on any other ones. They haven't put articulation on these ball joints. So that's really neat, I like that. You also get a shield here, it's done in a blue and yellow plastic. That will fit into the side of his arm right here. And that looks nice. You get alternate hands, which I always mention. I don't like these fisted hands. I think they're useless. So I put in these gripping hands. And then I throw these in a bag. I have a thousand of these <laughs> sitting in a bag because I never use them. All my Gundams, my Gundam Universe figures, don't have the fisted hands. Then you get a X or a Sith, whatever you want to call it. This just plugs in. It's nice metallic green on that. That looks really good. And he can hold this in his hand. 
or if you prefer, and that's a really nice look, by the way, or you have this, which is awesome. I love that they put storage for this. That's smart, very smart. Smart use of the backpack. So if you want to store this, you can. And it actually rotates, so that little thing will rotate. So whatever direction you want to put it, you can. But I really appreciate them putting that on there. You also get the standard adapter peg, which is meant for the Stage Act uh, 3 stands or Stage Act 4 stands from Bandai. Uh, I'm not going to put this guy in a stand, but you can if you want to. Final thoughts on the Gundam Universe Shenlong Gundam. I'm going to give this a 4 out of 5. This is a really good figure. I really like the additional articulation they have on the arm. The double jointed elbow really works. This is cool. This is the first thing they've had like this, where you get this kind of dragon arm. There's lots of articulation on this. I mean, you really can get it in any position. Um, but it's cool. You're better off taking the hand out. It looks a lot better with the hand out. But it's very cool. Nice accessories. Overall, nice uh, articulation. The knees are still limited, so that's why I only gave it a 4 to 5. But overall, I really like it and recommend it. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.